In the previous lecture, I discussed how we can pass parameter in Angular route and how we can retrieve the data to use in our Angular application. In this lecture, I am going to tell you how we can pass query parameter in Angular route and how we can retrieve the data to use in our Angular application. In the previous lecture, I created the route for our post details page. But in the previous lecture, I made one mistake. So what is that? So if I try to click on our post create link, you see it is not working. It is not loading our post create component. Instead of that, what is trying to do? It is trying to fetch the post with ID called create. So whatever we will provide after this, this will act as an our post details route. Okay. So that is why our post create page is not working. So to make sure that our post create page is working, what we need to do? We need to open our app routing model.ts file and we need to add this before our post details route. So let's provide that post create route before our post details route. Now our post create route will work. So if I try to navigate to our post create URL, you see our post create page is working now. And the second mistakes I have done is that if I go to our post this page and then uh, if I try to fetch an ID which is not there inside our API then it should show a message called post not found. So this is also working but if you see that if we provide an invalid ID this is also working but if we land on this page with a valid post ID and then if we change the URL with a link then this should sh show that message called no post found if the ID is invalid so let's give you an example so let's open our post details component.html file and let's provide a link here to go to next page or let's say invalid post invalid post and let's provide invalid ID here which is not there inside our API data so I already created some data for our API if you don't know how to create you can see my previous videos for that I created some db.json file actually I'm using json server library to create the server okay and we have some data here with id of each post okay and I'm trying to go to a post with invalid id with this link okay because I want to show what is the message we should get here for the invalid post let's refresh this page and right now what we have we have some valid post data right so if I check our post details component.ts file you will see that initially our post property is null right and whenever we will get some data from the API for this valid post ID then this will hold the post data okay so we are landing on this page with valid post ID so at this stage this post is not null okay and if I try to go to a invalid post we are not refreshing the page we are trying to navigate to this invalid post ID you see we are getting invalid post ID in the URL it is also trying to fetch that from the API with this ID okay it is not getting actually so okay let's go to our post list page from this post list page again to check that again yeah so we are landing on this page with this valid post ID and now we are trying to fetch this invalid post you see we are getting some error in the network tab right it is throwing 404 response and it is not uh, it is not trying to reload the page and it is not showing invalid post ID or post not found message here instead of that it is showing the PBS post message and PBS post data here right so why it is loading that uh, previous post message because we land on this page with some valid post ID and at this stage this post variable properties is not null that is why it is showing that data but as soon as we we'll land or we will change the URL with this link and it's trying to fetch the post with invalid ID then what we need to do we need to uh, we need to make this data as null so we need to make some error handling here so whenever we will get some error from the API at this stage we need to make that as null because in that post details component we already checked whenever this post is null or undefined then we are displaying no post found message okay so whenever we will get some error response from the server we will 
make that post as null that then we will get no post found message because uh, we are listening to that url change method of our parameter you see whenever url is changing we are listening to this method inside our post this component with this activated doubt dot param map right this is actually observable we are subscribing it to that method and whatever the parameter we are getting we are storing it to that property called post id and then we are trying to fetch the post with this id okay and whenever we will get some error response from the server we store this uh, null value to this post property whenever we will get some error response for the server and whenever we will get some valid response this will hold the post data okay so this will fix the error now i will tell you how we can pass query parameter in angular route so if i open our app routing model the ts file for that parameter route the parameter is mandatory for our angular routing but for the query parameter route we don't need to provide anything inside our route okay so we can pass that query parameter from that router link method so if i open our if i open our post list item component dot ts file so here we have this post details method and whenever we will click on this post details button this will call this post details method inside our post list component dot ts file so here is the method and if we want to provide any query parameter in the url then how we will provide for that what we need to do we need to provide an object here and inside this object with the key called query params and then this will be an object and whatever the query parameter you want to provide you can provide that one by one here suppose i want to provide edit mode as yes okay so this will provide query parameter in the url as a first query parameter and if you want to provide any other query parameter you can provide it here query param2 and let's say xyz okay so that is fine now let's refresh the page and let's try to click on this post details button you see it is redirecting to our post details page with the parameter and with the query parameter also so what we have provided inside our router dot navigate method okay so that is how we can provide query parameter here so now it's time to fetch that query parameter data inside our post details component dot ts file let's go to our post details component dot ts file so similarly how we retrieve that parameter data we can retrieve that query parameter data with the help of activated route so let's say this dot activated route dot snapshot dot query params map dot get and then your parameter name suppose i want to fetch that edit mode query parameter then we will need to provide query parameter name here inside this get method and this will hold the data of this query parameter ok and i will store that data to a local property so let's create one local property called edit mode edit mode and for now let's say any and this will be by default no ok or blank you can say no is fine for now and whenever we will get some query parameter data then we will store the data to this local property called edit mode now i want to display this inside our post details component.html file so let's display the data here so let's say edit mode i'm going to pin that here okay now you see we are getting that query parameter data from that url right so let's change it to no you see it is changing right so that is how we can fetch or retrieve that query parameter data now if we change that query parameter data from here then how we will retrieve them so similarly what we did for that uh, um, parameter right we are going to do the same for that query parameter because if we change that uh, query parameter from this page without refreshing then it should load the exact data here okay so let's give you an example uh, I'll simply provide the 
exact post id here what we have for that post let's say post id post dot id and let's say change change edit mode edit mode okay let's check if is the page click on this change edit mode yeah it is clearing all right because we are not providing any query parameter query params okay so you already know how we can provide query parameter with our router.navigate method if i open our post list item component.ts file so here you know how we can provide that query parameter with this router.navigate method now you will know how we can provide query parameter with the template right so let's say query params and then what about the query parameters you want to provide you can provide it here suppose i want to provide edit mode so let's say edit mode no okay and then let's say another query parameter so let's say another query parameter is query param xyz so let's provide it here query param to xyz okay now refresh the page and you see we have this uh, post uh, actually we don't have any query parameter here so let's redirect to this page some param uh, query parameter you see we have edit mode yes and query parameter to xyz right so now we have the parameter is here right now let's change the edit mode to no let's click on this button and just check it here i will look here click on this change edit mode you see it is changing as no here but it is not changing as no here because this uh, router dot uh, this activate dot snapshot dot query param method does not return the updated value of our query parameter so to get the updated value of our query parameter what we need to do we need to call one observable which is this dot activated dot, dot query param map similarly what we have for our param map we will have to call that query param map observable right and we need to call subscribe method because this will return some data and to get the data from the observable we need to call subscribe method and then what we will have we will have some params here or query params let's say query params and we to provide query params dot get and then your parameter name here let's make it smaller case okay now this should work now let's go to our post details page from this post list page with some valid or with some query parameter data let's say query edit mode as yes here change the edit mode to no you see it is changing here also and it is changing here also okay so if you want to make that edit mode dynamic how you can do it so let's say here you can check that if edit mode is no then you will provide yes or it will provide no okay so let's add one condition let's say so we have that uh, Mm, let's check uh, that post list component yeah we have this edit mode right so with this property let's check edit mode is equal to is equal to yes then we'll provide no or we'll provide yes okay save it refresh it so right now we have edit mode as no change the edit mode you see it is changing change the edit mode it is toggling actually okay so that's it for our query parameter in angular route so in the next lecture i'm going to tell you how we can use route resolver in angular route to prefetch the data